Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem? We have x squared minus s cubed equals to 80 from here. We are finding the value of x. Let's take 80 to this side. We have x squared minus x cubed, then minus 80, will then be equals to 0 here. Then we can separate minus 80 as minus 60 minus 64. Then we have x squared minus x cubed minus 60 minus 64. We then be equals to 0 here. Then also we can write this as x squared minus s cubed minus 4 squared. That is 16. Then minus 4 cube, that's 64, then equals to 0 here. Then from here, let's bring the power of 2 together. So we have x square minus, minus 4 square here, then minus x cube, then minus 4 cube from here, which is equals to 0. So we can group this together. And from these two, we factor minus out. Then we have x square minus 4 square in brackets. Then minus come out here. We have x cube plus 4 cube now, which is equal to 0 here. Then this follows difference of two squares when we have a square minus b square. And this gives us a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And this side follows sum of two cubes. When we have a cube plus b cube, and this gives us a plus b into brackets. Then open brackets, we have a square minus ab plus b square. So when we apply this, for each of these brackets, so these brackets become x plus 4, then multiply by x minus 4. Then here we have this sign minus, then we apply this. Here we have x plus 4 now, then multiply by into bracket x square, then minus x times 4, that's 4x. Then plus 4 square, that's 4 square now, that's 16. Then close bracket equals to 0. Then next, we have x plus 4 common here. We factor it out, that's x plus 4. Then we open bracket. What is left here is x minus 4. Then we have minus into bracket x square minus 4x plus 16 left here which is equals to the close bracket equals to 0. Then next we can simplify this bracket and have x plus 4 here. Then into bracket we have x minus 4. Then minus open this bracket we have minus x square plus 4x then minus 16 equals to 0. Also, when we simplify further, we have x plus 4 now. Then, into bracket, we have, let's write x squared first, that's minus x squared. Then, x plus 4x, that's plus 5x. Then, minus 4 minus 16 minus 20 now equals to 0. Now we have two possible cases here. We have x plus 4 equals to 0, or we have minus x squared plus 5x minus 20 equals to 0 from here. On this side, we have x equals to minus 4, which is a resolution from here. Then this side, let's multiply through by minus. And uh, this becomes x squared minus 5x plus 20 now equals to 0. 
when we solve for x here using formula method, we can say x here equals to minus minus y plus or minus square root of minus 5 square then minus 4 ac that's 1 then times 20 then over 2a that's 2 times 1 then from here we have x to be equals to 5 now minus times minus plus then plus or minus square root of minus y square that's 25 then minus 80 here over 2 here so x now equals to 5 plus or minus square root of minus 55 over 2 and uh, we can separate minus square root of minus 1 as i and this will be x equals to 5 plus or minus root 55 i over 2 so we have two complex solutions from here and uh, we can now write the values of x out and say the first one x1 equals to minus 4 then x2 from here equals to 5 plus root 55 i then over 2 and x3 we have 5 minus root 55 i over 2 so we have these three solutions in this problem then let's check for this resolution on what we have which is x square minus x cube equals to 80 now when we substitute for x equals to minus 4 that will be minus 4 square then minus into bracket minus 4 raised to power 3 will this give us 80 here then minus 4 square minus square is plus then 4 square 4 times 4 that's 16 then minus here minus raised to power 3 that will be minus 4 raised to power 3 4 times 4 times 4 that will give us 64 so we have minus 64 here is this equals to 80 here yeah? then we have 16 now minus times minus that's plus plus 64 is this equals to 80 16 plus 64 that's 80 which is equals to 80 we have left hand side equals to the right hand side then we can conclude that x equals to minus 4 you know satisfy the problem which you know the complex we also do that thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos see you in the next class and bye for now